Week number two for Kate. My name is Jodie Bunting. This is a six-week course where our slimmers will lose six, six, 12 pounds, 14 pounds a stone in the next six weeks. Getting all confused, Kate. Sorry. Right. How are you doing? How are you doing, Kate? Uh, I'm doing really well, thank you. Yeah, really well. Wonderful. Have you been on the scales? I have, yes. And um, what's the news? Uh, I've lost another two pounds. Yes. Well, yes. well. And, I am, and I am pleased, although I wanted to lose three, because by Saturday morning I'd lost three, and then I went to my friend's house yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> at least it wasn't your mum's mum's house that's it all i'm gonna mom. say no no my mum bless has been very good it was uh it was my friend yeah we were helping them do some building work and uh she was feeding us in return <laughs> <I wish you>. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah very well done to lose another Thank two you. is fantastic isn't it yeah it, i'm on course i'm on track oh. for the uh for the stone oh. for the stone yeah Right, let's have a little look through your food diary. So today uh, you've had some corn lunch for lunch, um, some pasta frusilli, uh, onions, peppers and some peas. So you made a little stir fry, have you? Or was it a salad? Yeah, yeah, it was like the little corn like chicken pieces and I just uh, sort of cooked it all off in a pan and chucked it in some pasta. Had it as like a little, a little almost, yeah, like a stir fry pasta concoction. <laughs> nice, sounds nice. Yeah. And then you've also found a little caramel bunny hotel chocolate. It did, yeah. Was that this was a gift the, or? Yeah, it was one of the one of the things that the kids had been sent for Easter, and my one of my friends popped around because she'd not been very well, and uh, you know, I needed to offer a little something with a cup of coffee, so. <laughs> So I thought, at least that I can't do too much damage. I can't eat, you know, huge quantities of them. So it was. And uh, there was, I'm impressed. You had six bunnies for 189 calories. Were yeah, they tiny? tiny? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like, I mean, a portion is four, I think, but there were 12 oh, in a pack. So <laughs> <laughs> we, had, we had six each, but but no, they're tiny. Okay. They're like this. Great. Yeah. Um, um, so yesterday we didn't track because we had a day off, which is it fine. Did, yeah. That, well, that that was when I was at my friend's house, and I was going to track, but when other people have made me food, I find it really difficult because I don't, I don't obviously at her house I wasn't weighing everything, and yeah, it is hard. Yeah, she did a she did a Sunday roast dinner. I didn't have many roast potatoes. Um, mostly had like the veg and, and the meat. So and it was lean beef. So I don't think it would have been a dreadful day. Yeah. Um, although she did make a white chocolate cheesecake, which oh wow. Probably <laughs> probably wasn't the best thing but i just find it really hard to track at somebody else's house yeah. because I, I i couldn't weigh everything so i would very much guess i'd just have a day off <laughs> we very much promote having a day off you know just just mentally it's good not to track and just not worry too much about the food so it's not a bad thing it's a good thing yeah. right breakfast saturday morning um is it a pancake that you've had I did, yeah. So I, I, um, I wanted to try and increase. Right, the connection went then. Right, you said you wanted to increase. I'm guessing you're about to say the word protein. <laughs> Are we back? Yeah, sorry. Yeah. You said you were about to increase, trying to increase. I, I was trying to think of different breakfasts that aren't sort of sugary cereals or I'm, I'm not a big porridge eater. So I like ready break, but I know that doesn't really count as porridge. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so I was trying to think of other sort of breakfasts and so I was trying to do sort of a high protein 
pancake type thing, but I don't think it, I, I think I need to put like banana and things in it, which I didn't do. So I, I need to look up some different recipes. Yeah, there is a, a simple recipe with which is just eggs and banana. Some yeah. people like it, some people are not so keen. So maybe give it a go, see whether you like that. Yeah. But yeah, you put the yogurt on the uh, pancakes, which gives you lots of protein, which is good. Yeah. And obviously there's protein in the eggs as well and the milk. Um, so after those pancakes, it looks like you were so full on Saturday that you didn't have anything till the evening. Yeah, we were going to um, Ben's dad's birthday um, and I knew that we'd be having sort of an early-ish big tea. So I didn't, we didn't, we didn't really need anything for lunch, to be honest. So yeah, in the evening you had ham with new potatoes. Was it a little buffet, it looks like? Exactly, yeah. Yeah, like cold meats and, and salad and new potatoes and things. You know what? I love some of the desserts you have. They're always so nice. You had a raspberry and mascarpone roulade. I did, yeah. Wow, that sounds amazing. Did it taste as good as it sounds? It did, yeah. But I did only have a small piece. I was very good. Well done. Um, I made Ben go and dish it up for me because I knew I would have served <laughs> myself a bigger piece. So I said, just, just give me a small portion. And he did. So, yeah, I tried to, tried to cut it down a little bit. <laughs> Now, some people will be shocked when I tell you, well done for having double cream. Why do I think, why do you think it's good to have double cream? I mean, I think it's good to have double cream because it's delicious. Yeah. <laughs> it also has protein in it as well. Okay. So yeah. Obviously, the, the, the issue with having desserts like that is the sugar, but trying to yeah. counterbalance it by having some double cream, uh, obviously not a gallon, but 20 yeah. mil of double cream like you had roughly is, is yeah. great because it just balances out the, the protein and the sugar content. So that is yeah. good. And you even well, had some fresh raspberries on the top as well. I did, yeah. Yeah, I added some extra raspberries and he was really good. He got a big dessert spoon. That's why we put 20 mils because he got a big dessert oh, spoon yeah. and, and actually measured it out. Bless him. He does try. He tries to help me. So impressed. You've yeah. got some nice friends. Yeah. Right, Friday was eggs for breakfast with some ham. Yeah. Was that an omelette or was that? Uh, no, I did like scrambled egg and then just chuck some ham on top of it. Okay, great. <laughs> and then there's a quick add in for lunch. Did you eat out Friday lunchtime? Yeah, so I, I was really annoyed with myself. I went on a big long walk with a friend. I say long, it was about five kilometres, but I went on a, on a walk with a friend and we went to a national trust and I thought, oh, I won't have like a sandwich or something. I'll have the salad. And it was a, a goat's cheese and sweet potato salad. And when I got it, it was 700 calories. <laughs> <laughs> did, it have a, did it have a dressing on it or something? It did have a dressing, and although I've put all the calories in, I actually only had, I didn't, I wasn't that mad keen on the dressing, so I probably only had about a teaspoon of it on because I didn't really wow. like it. Um, so I probably didn't quite consume all the calories. But, yeah, I couldn't believe it. I was like, I should have just had a jacket potato. <laughs> <laughs> and I probably would have been more and full as well. But it was a lovely salad, but I couldn't, yeah, when it said 700 calories, I was like. And was there much goat cheese on it or not? Yeah, and I think that was probably the, the problem. Normally when you get those sort of salads, they've got a tiny bit of goat's cheese on, and this had actually got quite a lot. Okay. Um, so I think that was probably why. But, yeah, I was. <laughs> it did. It makes you think, doesn't it? It's not always the, the healthy option that, yeah. that, that you think. So. But, but health-wise, it probably would have had the best nutrients in, and there's obviously yeah. protein in the goat's yeah. cheese as well. Yeah. Uh, a little bit of ice. And things, so. A little bit of ice cream, and then you've counterbalanced the day by having the uh, chicken katsu curry, which is one of the balance boxes from Aldi. Yeah. Um, then in the snacks, you've had an apple, uh, one of those Be Ready bars, watermelon slices, and some lentil curls. And again, stick within your calories. Thursday was a bacon and brie panini with a little bit of sponge cake. Uh, in the evening, it was a curry, I think. Oh, sorry, a chilli. It was minced chili, beef yeah. and rice. Yeah, kidney beans. Yeah. Uh, a, a snack of watermelon. Yeah. Wednesday was 
pasta with some sauce and some salad and a little bit of ham in it. Yeah. Then in the evening, roast, uh, beef roast dinner. Mm -hmm. uh, a few snacks there, bit of mini eggs. Or have you still got a lot of Easter stuff left then? Got loads of Easter chocolate okay. left, absolutely loads. Yeah, yeah, loads. And I'm trying to sort of limit it with the kids as well. So we're just trying to sensibly work our way through it, and we give it away whenever anybody comes round. I'm like, oh, there's a child on half an Easter egg. Off you go. <laughs> oh, you're doing well. This is good. Um, and then Tuesday, um, we talked about last week because that was the notorious fruit uh, orange loaf, wasn't it? It was, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. So I'm really happy with that. And as me reading out all those things, you know, you're not just having salad like a lot of people think you need to do for lose weight. You're still having your treats in there. You're still enjoying the journey and you're having family meals as well, which is important. Yeah, I, to be totally honest, although my weight loss isn't, you know, it's not exciting and and, and dead speeding, I'm not losing, you know, lots and lots of, of pounds every week. I feel like this is really doable and really yeah. stable too. And I love the tracking because I know, whereas before, if I'd have started, you know, if I'd have had cake with my lunch, I would have gone, oh, well, I've had a bad day now. I might as well just, yeah. you know, go mad. Because I'm doing the tracking, I think now if you've had, if I've had, you know, something a bit dodgy for lunch, I try and have a really healthy tea yeah. and, and not snack in the evening. And it's really helped me to sort of keep a bit of, not not control, because I'm as you can tell, I'm not, <laughs> I'm still letting myself eat eat bits and bobs, but it, it feels much more sustainable because I'm yeah. not miserable. I'm not stopping myself from going out and doing things, but I'm just, you know, just factoring in some some better meals and you know not eating things for the sake of eating them really yeah um, so i found the tracking i find really helpful um really beneficial i know that you're gonna <laughs> that you're gonna go through it <laughs> I with a five fine code what gonna say about that <laughs> it's become a thing in our house now my hubby will be like you're gonna tell jody about that right. one i'm like yeah well i promise <laughs> <laughs> Please remind him that you're on our lad one day off a week as well. Yeah, yeah, no, he's very good. Like that. Yeah, it's good. Right. So finally, what is your goal for next week? Do you know what? I really want to say three, but I, I'm going to go for two again because I think if I can keep up a nice steady two pounds a week weight loss, that's yeah. going to be absolutely brilliant for me. And like I say, it feels doable and it feels sustainable. Um, you know, in the long term, even after this this six week course has finished. So I think, yeah, I'm going to go with two pounds again. And if it's more, that'd be great. But I'm going to aim for that. Perfect. Well done. That's all I want. Two pounds a week is good for me. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Have you got any other questions? No, I don't think so. Fab. Right. Well done again. I will Thank speak you. to you next week. Yeah, lovely. Thank you very much, Jodie. Thank you, Kate. Take care. Bye. Bye. Bye.